I'm sorry, it's private property. Is this the Ewan Ranch? Yes. You must be J.R. Ewing. Yeah, that's right. And who are you? Jamie. Jamie who? Jamie Ewing. Jason's daughter. My daddy and your daddy were brothers. Well, I didn't know Jason had any kids. Well, he did. Me and my brother. Oh, your brother, huh? Well, when can we expect him to show up? I wish I knew. I haven't seen him in almost five years. Well, what are you doing here now after all this time? Well, after Daddy died, I didn't see much point in staying up in Alaska. So I came here, be with the only family I got. Well, now he's been dead a month. What took you so long? Well. After I paid for Daddy's funeral, there wasn't much money left. I took a bus part of the way. I, I hitchhiked the rest. And then I ran out of money in Laramie, so I stayed there and washed dishes till I saved up some more. You mean Jason didn't have any money? Just what he earned in the oil fields. He wasn't much good at saving that either. Daddy had it pretty rough the last couple of years. See, no one wanted to hire somebody as old as he to work his fields. Well, if things were so bad for him, why didn't he come to us for some help? Daddy might not have had much else, but he shared a whole lot of pride. He never would ask anybody for help, especially the Ewans. Hadn't been for the money I saved, Daddy would never have even had a decent funeral. Well, that's a very touching story. But do you have any way of proving you are who you say you are? Jail. Well, darling, I haven't laid eyes on Uncle Jason in, well, since I was a kid. I didn't know he had any children. It'd be the easiest thing in the world for somebody who knew he was dead to come waltzing in here and want us to take him in. Look, uh, Jamie, my brother may not be very subtle at times, but he does have a point. How can we be sure you are who you say you are? That's okay. I guess when you have a lot of money, you always think somebody wants something from you. Here, uh, here's my Alaska driver's license. Has my name on it. It's Jamie Ewing. And that there, that's a picture of Daddy and Uncle Jock before they split up. That's Daddy, all right. Well, I guess that's Uncle Jason. At least that's what I remember he looked like. Well, where's Miss Ellie? Why don't you ask her? She'd know for sure. She's not here. And I'm afraid that we have totally forgotten our manners. I'm Sue Ellen Ewing, and this is my husband, J.R. Ewing. And his brother, Bobby. And his fiancée, Jenna. And this is their brother, Ray, and his wife, Donna. Hi. Hi. Jamie. Well, I guess it is kind of hard for you all to believe me. But I would like to say that it is nice to finally meet you all. Well, it's nice to meet you, too. And I think we have stood around here long enough asking you a bunch of dumb questions instead of offering you something to drink or eat. You do look a little tired. Would you like something? Well, if you're fixing lunch, I would be obliged. I mean, I, I have been on the road for a while. Of course. We'll take you upstairs to a guest room and we can take a shower and then we'll all have lunch together. Now, I don't want to put you out. I insist. Get your bags. Okay. You can unpack, because you'll be staying right here with us. Well, I was going to get a room in town. Nonsense. You're Ewing, and this is where you belong. Come on. Oh, if that's not a bolt out of the blue. Sure gave her a nice warm welcome. Distant relatives, I just love them. We just get rid of Clayton Farlow's crazy sister. And now we're opening our home to some kind of drifter. She's family, J.R. 
Well, it's going to take more than what I've seen so far to prove that to me. 